Hey, everybody. Just wanted to pop on real quick and say hi. How are you doing? Um, today's been one of those days, you know. Sometimes you feel like there's a lot of work to do. And no matter what you do, it's like, oh my goodness, there's more work. I mean, goodness gracious. And that's how it is. You know, um, there's always something to do. And we find that maybe we're having a problem getting started. Maybe we're having a problem getting moving. Maybe we're kind of like um, telling ourselves you can't do this. Why don't you just give up? Why don't you just stop? You know, you keep doing, 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 doing. You're all by yourself. Nobody's helping you. I mean, the words and the plays that go on in your head over and over and over and over again. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't stop. And sometimes we just have to smile and keep going and realize that those thoughts are bringing back to us exactly what they are. Those thoughts of, oh my gosh, I can't do it. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get anywhere. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, the oh my goshes are keeping us stuck right there. I mean, I'm just going to be real. Um, no matter how much you do, no matter how hard you struggle, the struggle is only going to get harder the more resistance you put to it. So in other words, if you want to buy a car, you find one car, go, oh my goodness, okay, this is the one I want, this is the one I want, this one I'm going to get, but you don't have a closed deal. But yet you put all your eggs into that one vehicle and somebody drove away with it. And then what do you do? I mean, you got to think about these things. I mean, sometimes because, you know, what if you find that one thing and you stop looking and you're done, you're finished, Anyway, kind of a crazy thought, but I just thought, you know, because it's like you put all your eggs into one basket and then you put the basket away and know that it's yours. Yeah, that's manifestation. But what if you put it in the basket and then you question the color of the eggs or you question the vitality of the eggs? You question whether they're really going to hatch or not. And then you begin to worry about them. And then you begin to move them around and check them and, you know, you're constantly, oh, they're not going to hatch. Oh, they're not going to hatch. Oh, they're not going to hatch. Oh, nothing's going to come out of this. Nothing's ever going to work. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to get it and it's just going to be faulty. And, oh, my gosh, it's not going to run right and I'm going to have to buy a new. And eventually, that so-called done deal, that thing that you think that you had, that thing that you thought was right in place for you right then, right there, right now. Of course, if it, if it doesn't come about, it wasn't meant to be. But we can also bring about the knowing that our energy can push things away from us. That we can believe that something is ours and we love it and it's great at the moment. And then we start to pick away at it. We start to re-examine things. We start to find fault with that which we want. So... We have the ability to change our minds. It gives us that time period. You know, they say if you pray and if God doesn't answer right away or divine doesn't answer right away, if spirit doesn't answer right away, then that might not mean that it's in yours. And some people might say, oh, well, they just didn't. It wasn't meant for me. Oh, my goodness. Why in the world? You know, oh, I, I should have had it. Somebody else took advantage of me. But actually, that's your helping hand. That's saying, hey, this might not be just right for you, but what I am trying to bring the point about is your energy, your vibration, the way that you think and feel about things are what either bring it closer in and push it further away. So that might have been a wonderful, good thing for you, but your energy has a tendency to push things away. So therefore, you said it wasn't that timing. Now something else will float in. I'm not saying that you push things away and they stay gone. What I'm saying is it's a way of knowing. It's helping you out. It's moving things along. It's helping to keep things that aren't meant to be yours, aren't meant to be in your environment, aren't meant to be around you at the moment, aren't the right thing for you. There might be something you didn't see. So your energy actually is kind of pushing it, pushing it away. But I want you to be aware of your energy also pushing that which you're trying to bring to you away. So it's really a conundrum of thought when you really stop to think about it because there's so many different aspects and so many different avenues that we go down when it comes to thought. I mean, thought is just this massive thing. You know, you're, you're, and it's like, um, what I'm seeing is it's like a conveyor belt, you know, one's coming one way, one's going the other way. Well, what 
conveyor belt do you want your 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 objects on that things that you're trying to bring into you those emotions you're trying to bring in those feelings you're trying to bring what conveyor belt do you have them on are they flowing to you and are you standing between the conveyor belts and go okay when well, that flew to me but i'm gonna question that we put it back over here and it can go back around again or are you bringing them to you and going oh i love that i accept it no matter what it is what condition it is you know if it's coming to me i'm going to accept that unless you know it's not in a higher vibrational energy so we're not not talking about a conveyor belt that's bringing you nasty stuff we're talking about a conveyor belt that's bringing you stuff that you're actually thinking about and want in your life and so you have the ability to bypass that at the moment put on the other conveyor belt let it go back down let it come back around while you think about it so i mean there's so many different ways that we can look at this but the ultimate thing is remember your thoughts your thoughts bring about your world they bring about your existence they bring about all these things into your life so your thoughts we want to be really aware and conscious of our thoughts and how we think of other people and how we think of things that are moving into our life things people places things ideas how these things are moving into our lives are they moving in where we're flowing with we're flowing upstream, we're going back to the headwaters, we're getting back to the basics, we're getting back to who we are, we're getting back to what we know, and putting on the conveyor belt those things which we're wanting to release, or are we moving things on the conveyor belt over for them to keep coming back around, coming back around, coming back around to finally be resolved, to finally be looked at. So, it's there. Loved ones, I did not expect that to come out, I was just going to pop on and say hi. But as you can see, I keep looking at the sky because when I talk, I just feel spirit just come in and they just share these messages that this thought is just, I know it sounds a little crazy. I sound like I'm all over the place. I'm going to have to have someone help me out with this one, make sure this one makes some good sense to people, but I might just have to leave it just like it is because that's the beauty of it. You know, what are we working in at the moment and what are we drawing in and what are we pushing away? And are we pushing away that which we desire, that which we really long for, what we've been waiting for, because we're a little afraid to embrace it at the moment. We're not really sure what it is. We really don't understand. It's not a known in our world yet. It's still in the unknown. So what I say is just embrace yourself, love. And be conscious of your thoughts. Be aware of how you think of others and how you treat others. Be aware of how you treat and think of yourself. I send you great love. Namaste. And back out to the farm I go. <laughs> I just feel like such a mess today. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, sometimes we have to be kind of a mess. It has to be everywhere for it to all balance out. So, anyway, I love you. Namaste.